Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This here video is going to be on um, the topic of dark night of the soul. A lot of people go through a dark night of the soul and more. Um, they experience it more than one time and they don't understand the feelings of um, what the dark night is saying. And it's... Um, an experience that is attributed to the writing of what I know Jesus to have went through in the Bible. It's the time when the soul is um, going through a season of darkness, uh, persecution. A lot of people will ask why. Uh, and the reason why is because there's karma that you have to um, amend. Uh, a lot of that is... Uh, things that we may have brought over from other lives uh, that are not really told and spoken of correctly. Um, and it's also, you know, uh, karma that we have brought into this life, meaning that we have created when we did not understand life um, and how the laws of gravity work. What goes up must come down. Uh, that means that if you throw the ball up, the ball is going to bounce back down. So that means if you give out something good, you're going to receive something good. If you give out bad, then you're going to be, you know, receive that. And sometimes it's an accumulation that can come at one time. Sometimes karma or um, that time when your soul has called you to change has not really um, hit the individual and what happens is, is the dark night of the soul comes in. Now, there's a lot to the dark night of the soul because even uh, things that haven't been taught according to astrology, when you look at a natal chart, you'll see that it's a circle. And that circle, um, depending on different charts, can have a cross in the middle of it. Um, you can draw a cross there because the axis between... Uh, the first house, the 12th and the first, and then the seventh house, which is a straight line from seven to 12 uh, is there. And then from the 10th to the fourth house is there. So there's the cross in the natal chart. And, you know, for some people, this is new information uh, where they did not believe in astrology. And for some, this is not new. So wherever you are in it, there's a time and a season that you and your soul or your soul will call you into uh, a dark night um, situation. And the dark night situation is really a, a place where you will begin to gravitate on faith, um, on your belief system, if you have one. If you didn't have one, you might create one or get one at this point because, you know, even atheists might go through a, a dark night and they don't believe in God or the universe. And they will begin to call on um, some type of healing measure to help them through a sickness or even a car accident. And that could be the reason why they experienced it because the soul is saying, okay, it's time for you to exit out of that thought process and, and enter into this one, which is a faith. It's time for you to be a witness of faith or that the universe is really in control and it is the creator of all things. So, you know, we have all of these different ideations and philosophies and um, when I say philosophies, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, uh, but even Christianity was created um, out of a philosophy. Uh, it's a practice. It's one of the youngest practices of uh, religions that uh, there is. Uh, other religions that have been around for years, like Brahmanism, I think it may be the, the first one um, that is recorded. And so if you go back, you can actually get understanding of history and then begin to understand things, um, not just from what people are saying um, and teaching, but from your own understanding. I really push that. Um, don't be a follower, you know, be a leader. And there are going to be followers, but always remain to study and show yourself approved because a lot of people will give out mis information 
uh, it's misinformed. Uh, that means that you want to be in a place where you're actually um, catching the misinformation. All right. So with the dark night of the soul, I'm going to read a little bit of something from Wikipedia and then go into that. And, you know, some people say, well, Wikipedia is not always right. But one of the things that it is right is about St. John of the Cross and the Romans um, understanding what they wrote about it. So then you can go back and look at it for yourself. So it says the dark night of the soul, um, the author himself did not give any title to the poem. There's a poem. Um, the poem and treatise of St. John um, in eight stanzas of five lines narrates the journey of the soul to mystical union with God. So that's the number one thing with the dark night of the soul. Uh, for me, I saw that um, probably about 24 years ago. The submission to it didn't happen until I think it was around 2002. Um, I was under great mental persecution. You know, I saw a lot of dark things, um, meaning that, um, yeah, I just saw a lot of dark spiritual stuff. And, you know, I didn't tell people because, of course, when you talk about spiritual things or that you're seeing things, people think that you're crazy. Uh, my family has always known that about me, but everyone doesn't know that. So at this point in time, I think it's good to educate people on the dark night of the soul and tell you that if you're a Christian, you can follow the experience and see what's going to happen because Luke 21 talks about it. All through the Bible, Jesus is telling and setting the disciples up for a scenario that everyone has to go through. I've heard many people say that um, Jesus did it all for us, but you know, I feel like there's a need to correct it. Jesus did it as an example, but we even with our souls have Christ or whatever God you whatever you call God within you, which means that that God presence wants to be exemplified. It wants to be birthed through you. So when you go to the cross, even though you don't see it, it's a spiritual experience that crosses out everything that you've ever done consciously here in earth. And now it's rebuilding you to its primary um, desire. What you were program to come here and do. So when you think about if you're going through a dark night of the soul right now, or if you're having some kind of experiences, of course you can reach out to me at IFWB, I mean, IFWBuilders at gmail.com. And I'll put it in the description box. The thing about the dark night is, is that the persecution it's not for you to go after the people because, you know, again, you can go to the Bible and you can see line upon line what Jesus said to Peter when he, he told him not to hit anybody. Because when you're going after people, what happens is, is that you're accumulating more karma. And in the dark night of the soul, you want to decrease as a human and the issues or challenges and the extra stuff, the drama that you've done, you want to decrease from that because you want to become more like God. And what God does is create positive situations, right? And that is not an easy thing. But if you get around communities such as those that I'm with, then you're going to learn and you'll be supported in it, right? All right. So the cross experience is spiritual and you'll have, you know, outside external situations uh, people and things that are giving you the lessons that you need to come closer to God, come closer to the universe, to practice your faith, to see within and not outside, to believe without a shadow of a doubt that what you're experiencing is for your good. Um, again, this is not easy because there is a fear that will come up that you cannot shake. It's like all of hell has been released on you and no one else is experiencing what you are experiencing. So the cross 
is just that. It's to cross out error and to allow the perfection of God within you to come forth. Now, I don't want the perfection of God to be something that you believe um, to be narcissistic or that you believe is going to happen instantaneously because as we were created in our mother's and father's womb, so this situation of having to be reprogrammed is what it is, is going to take time. And so you have to be patient with yourself, but the submission to the process is so necessary because as you submit, the experience becomes lesser. People that fight the experience will be there for a while. Why? Because you're fighting against a power that is greater than you. You're fighting against a power that actually created you. And your soul is the reason why you live. So if you fight the, the dark night instead of submitting or even knowing, I'll give you that, um, you will do better if you submit. And so the dark night of the soul is going to take you into the uttermost depths of what seems to be hell. You know, your mind will feel like you are experiencing nothing but hell. You will begin to lose things. You'll lose people in your life. And all of this is for your good. It's for our good because what it does is brings us to a place where we can listen and hear what our soul is saying. We can be led by our soul. We build the faith in that area. It's so likened to what David was saying that, you know, Jesus went to hell to get the keys of life or faith. How can you get faith if you don't experience anything that's going to make your mind change? You know, just think of someone that, and I don't want to say that anyone is different from anyone. I just want to give an example. A murderer can't be forgiven, but the consciousness is the key. If you have no conscience about what you do, all of this is going to change when you go to hell. Or when you feel that you're in hell. Why? Because you will be in a position of fear and trembling. You will feel like you can't get out of whatever it is. You will feel like everything is against you. Some people will acquire symptoms of paranoia, schizophrenia. And schizophrenia and it is not a, a symptom. But if depression is a part of uh, the dark night of the soul and I guarantee it will because most people are materialistic in America or all over the world so once you start losing things and people you're going to feel like you have nothing to live for very very key because as you realize that you have nothing to live for you'll find that you have more to live for which is the abundance of life and spirit when you are able to let go of material possessions and people and things, this is where the tried and tested has been for your soul. Regardless if you said you were a Christian or uh, going into a, a, a depth ship or that you wanted to be um, purpose for uh, divine guidance and leadership or that you were prophetic. It doesn't matter what you said. What matters is your destiny. So all of these are areas that they get you in place for the dark night of the soul. And as you submit, you get with collective uh, communities, tribes that are um, going through or have experienced this. What happens is, is that you're able to get that ascension process going. And then it's something how uh, on the cross you descend, just like your um, natal chart. And then you, when you ascend when you're ascending you're going up but the ascension cannot happen until you submit and you start taking the time to learn who you are right now because your process is going on regardless if you fight 
the lesser the fight, the more of the consciousness uh, or the unity of God, like St. John, the cross information talks about. The unity of consciousness with God is what's calling you in. And guess what? You can fake all of the people in life, but you can't fake your soul and God out. And when, when we came here, uh, we signed contracts about what we were going to do. Now, is there some people that don't? I don't know if it's some that don't experience this, but I do feel like some people live in hell all of their lives because they don't know about darkness. How do I know about darkness? When I got to, um, I think it was probably uh, my late 20s, I realized through consciousness, um, spirit showed me how I had lived in depression. Most of my life up until um, that time, no, up until I met my husband and I started having children. But the experience of depression was a part of darkness that I became acquainted with. And people that are um, under the Capricorn, um, well, Saturnian um, energy, or if you're a Capricorn, you will experience depression uh, maybe more than others because Saturn is so hard on the people that that energy rules. So um, with Saturn being that ruler over you and the time that you were born, the great chances of you having a dark night of the soul are going to be just that. Um, I think that Anyone that has a son in the 10th house will have harder times, even though they um, may have Scorpio son in the 10th house, because it's possible. The, the likeliness of hardships, because it's Saturn's house, are there. Uh, wherever Saturn's um, position is in your chart means that you're going to experience hardships and situations of karma are there. So Saturn is a big influence when it comes to the dark night of the soul because he's the one that brings the karma. And then he or it its energy is the one that brings you if you pay attention and you have this information to the season of retribution. Because you go in but you don't have to stay there. It's up to you how long the darkness is permitted because it's all about submission. When you mature in that dark position and you yield, the ascension process begins. Now, one more thing before I leave, I want to let people know that, again, it's not an instant process. The Bible shows kind of like three days and three nights. Um, mine was years. Um, the most traumatic part of it was the first, I think, three years. Um, symptoms, depression. I lost a lot of weight. I couldn't eat. All I could think about is things that I had done to other people, how I'd hurt them. I couldn't get out of the mindset torment. But then uh, as I got, I think, aware, as I became aware and I, I started understanding and really learning about what I experienced, what I found is, is that I didn't use the conscience that I had when I was hurting or just not thinking about other people's feelings. That's very important because we're humans, but we're here to make a difference in lives. That means that just because someone is acting up doesn't mean that we have to act up with them, right? But my portion of it in this life right now is that I do my best to consciously understand and not resort to old habits that could take me back. So I began to ascend because I started going to a church that 
um, True for Living in Jacksonville that um, God dreamt me to. And I had, you know, very close friends that were there. But my process is different. And, you know, from others, your chart tells you a lot about how your process is. The key that I want to give people is the dark night of the soul and how you can, you know, target it, how you can overcome it, the factors that play into it. And those factors have to do with consciousness and how we treat others. Um, when your soul contract says that it's time for you to make that union with God, universe, whatever your spiritual position is uh, with the universe, it could be elevated. You know, you might go into alchemy. You may be um, into numerology, um, clairvoyance, prophetic. Uh, you might be called into... Um, tarot reading. These are a lot of things that in history um, they took and made bad. And the the reasons why you had these um, abilities, say like in tarot, uh, tarot or um, um, prophetic is guidance. All of it was about guidance. And then with those uh, areas of guidance, there were people that put regulations on it, such as the Roman Catholics and said that these things were bad. And so we're starting to find that everything is not bad. Like people said, uh, the universe gave us the ability to create things, to give people knowledge like this video. If I hadn't went through the dark night of the soul, I wouldn't be able to give information on symptoms of depression, the conscious hell that you go through, uh, not being able to combat it. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of times you're spiritually seeing things that seem to be delusional, um, illusions, um, and you're trapped until you submit. If you have any questions, Email me again at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. We do have a community of individuals that are gifted, that we work with, that may be able to help you even with the experience. Um, I have another channel uh, you can look at on YouTube, Kim Warner, and there's a lot of information there. Uh, and also some of the people that I work with that give information and it's from the heart. And that's what the dark night of the soul will do. It's going to purify your heart because it will put you in a position of darkness where you're going to fear. It's like mm, Job's experience. Yeah. Yeah. Job. And so um, email me for information. Uh, we have a class coming up on the shadow next week. And that is July 22nd. Uh, the information will be in the description box. It's going to be a class $30 for you to come in to learn about shadow work. And this dark night of the soul is going to emphasize you to do shadow work because you're going to have to actually accept the dark areas and issues and things that you've done to people. Whether it's very, very bad, I wouldn't even put a label on it. You just did it. You know, God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin, the sin, right? And the sin is just simply where we made mistakes. We were ignorant. We didn't know. So the dark night teaches us better. Put down pride, put down anger, put down um, sexual um, promiscuity. Why? Because it causes more and more greed. You know, all of these things in that area of overindulgence, it can take your life. And so that's what the dark night of the soul will teach you as well. So it's so much there, but the number one things I want to say is to know that you're there. Depression could be it. You may not, you know, you may have been diagnosed. I'm not a doctor, but I work in the behavioral health field, um, psychology. And I went into it because of these, uh, issues that I talked to you about. Um, I'm not a therapist. I didn't want to be a therapist. I work at getting um, things for people such as um, food donations, um, diapers and essentials for babies, 
Why? Because there are people that are actually in dark night situations that don't believe they can come out. And when you can be an advocate to help from the presence of, of life and love, it helps to bring people out. And that's part of my journey, part of my purpose to love on people, but also to give them an understanding of correction concerning the things that they do and what keeps us in dark night situations or oppression, right? So if oppression is relieved or the dark night, you can teach them how to ascend, then what happens is, is that new life is there, the abundance of life the abundance of joy and peace. And so this is not something that you can just teach in one setting. You can go back and say, okay, um, what do I need to focus on? Kindness, love, and faith, giving. All right? All right. So go to the description box and you'll see all of the information. And um, thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing and sharing. Have a wonderful day.